How's it going guys? I'm DeOyster and we're back on a little bit of a different grind today. Uh, we're playing something a little different here. It's called Summerland and uh, there's a little bit of information about this game before we get into it. This video game contains some moments with flashing lights and other light patterns. Calm. So it looks like we got a uh, little bit of a tutorial here. Okay, the phone. Okay, I'm always awful at starting these. Um, hello. Well, you're probably pretty confused, and that's fine. It's to be expected, but. I have to explain all this constantly, and I don't really care to do it again. I'd say I do it hundreds of times a day, but time doesn't really exist here, so... Look, all you need to do is walk outside into the hallway and into your first trial. Your body will be reenacting events exactly as they had occurred before. Simply put, your free will won't exactly be that free anymore. I'll be watching you so I can tally up your score, but... Fair warning, I typically deal with the... Um, Let's just say the people I judge typically score on the lower end, so <laughs> have fun with that on your mind. So you understand what you're supposed to do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you can't respond. I've set all this up so you can't talk. I know, I know, it seems a bit harsh, but if you had to listen to people panicking for eternity, you'd get pretty sick of it too. Oh, where am I? What's going on? I want to see my family! It gets annoying. You know, it's almost like no one even reads the sign I put up. All right, enough talk. Head out into the hall and start your first trial. Let's get this over with. Okay, so a little bit of information about this game here real quick is that I discovered it through TikTok from a guy named... I can look it up here real quick. Okay. So the guy that I found it from, he's on TikTok, and his name is Treasure Man, at Treasure Man. And he's got a little under 200,000 followers from posting content relevant to the process of releasing this game. And he's done this all by himself, which is really cool. And don't quote me on it, but I believe he says he's been working on it since high school or something. Obviously, that's been a while ago, if he's bringing that up. But, anyway, yeah, if you want to find him on TikTok, it's at Treasureman. E-R-E-A-S-U-R-E-M-A-N. Awesome. So, Summerlin is a first-person narrative game about morality and the afterlife. You play as a guy named Matthew. He's a detective, and he's reliving the past events of his life and then you throw in some morals and whatnot along the way and basically you just explore his memories so anyway um, I need to 
figure out how to actually play this game. Cameron does follow you. Okay, cool. Controls, there we go. Lock look. Left click. Okay, so. There we go. Just click to open. Okay, so it looks like you literally have a room dedicated to memories. How are you holding up, Evelyn? Oh, wow. You're not looking too hot. No, I I'm fine. Just... Shit. Looking at this makes me feel sick. I'll get used to it. Yeah, it's hard the first few times. You're not a real investigator until you don't puke on the body. <laughs> uh, Matt. Ugh. Mm. Let's talk about anything else. Did you check the report? No, not yet. I'll check it out. Try not to lose your lunch while I'm at it. <laughs> Very funny. I need to check out that report to see what I'm working with. I think I left it on the hood of the cruiser. Uh, so... This is interesting. Okay, so I guess we can go back out that way if we want to. Says here that someone driving nearby heard a gunshot at the location. When they came to check it out, they saw the body. Only one shot was heard. No assailant has been identified. Not much more to go off of. What does it say? Just that some people... Oops. ...heard a gunshot and saw the body. I'm not working with much. You hang tight. I'm gonna have a look around. Evelyn has a long ways to go, but I think she's going to do well on the force. One of the most promising rookies I've met. Just takes time. A few more ride-alongs will do her good. Are we having this conversation in front of her? Like, like she's right there. Or she would have been at this time. Okay, so I'm not real sure... This truck sure has seen better days. I'd be surprised if you could even get it running. Real sure what I need to investigate here. Got a bullet show. Okay. This knife has blood on it. Fresh blood. Had to have been used in whatever altercation happened here. Hmm. Okay, so... Male, probably in his early 30s. Given the bullet hole in his head, I'd have to say he died from a gunshot wound. Looks like the bullet went straight through. I should probably take a look at that blood as well. Looks like someone had a bad day. The blood only seems to be coming from his head, so there likely wasn't much of a struggle. Oh, and would you look at that? Someone left a trail of blood. Well, this game is kind of crazy. I guess I'm supposed to follow the, uh, the blood. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should find everything in front of the cabin first, then check out that blood trail. Oh, well, we've already wandered away from the cabin. I guess we can go back. Hello? Go. Yeah, I'm not going in there if I don't have to. So what else we got here? The bullet shell doesn't tell us anything. How are you holding up? I'm feeling a bit better. Anything. You find everything you need? Not yet. I'm gonna keep looking. Well, I'll let you get to it. 
Jesus Christ, it smells like shit in here. Whoever lived here wasn't too keen on keeping the place tidy. Yo, but the Jay's clean though. Not a single crease. Okay, so what all do we got in here? Medication. Whoever lives here is probably running their own little independent pharmacy. I can see why. This stuff isn't exactly over the counter. So, oh, we got a little paper here. Looks like a list of clients. Whatever happened outside could be a deal gone wrong. Getting escape doesn't take me out of that. Um, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. This guy was definitely prepping for something. Cans of food, water jugs. I don't really think it's relevant to the case, though. What else? Might be it. Dead inside. All right, let's maybe follow that blood trail. Oh, there we go. There's something right there. Looks like this handgun was discarded, and rather hastily at that. It's safe to assume this was used at the scene. Alright, and then there was a lot of cash up here too. If I remember correctly. Yeah, right there. Well, we may just have found a motive. Four hundred dollars cash. But why toss it away? Oh, uh, looks like we've got a person up there. I am sprinting, by the way. Hold shift to sprint, and this is what the sprinting looks like. Medication here. Us, not gonna lie. The blood trail heads into that cave. I need to be careful. wound in his abdomen. It's deep, too. He most likely died from blood loss, probably not too long after crawling in here. Alright, so we got a dead guy. Not real sure where to go next. Maybe let's go this way. And Doug, yeah. probably by whoever lives here. Too small for a person. I don't want to think about what's buried here. Too small for a person, then it's probably an animal. Okay, so that's the end of this trail.
I'm okay. I, I need to focus back on the investigation. <sighs> Whoa, okay, so it seems like our character's got some sort of, like, condition or disease or something. Let's see if talking to her gives us... How are you holding up? I'm feeling a bit better. You find everything you need? Not yet. I'm going to keep looking. Well, I'll let you get to it. Oh. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should find everything in front of the cabin first. Then check out that blood trail. Okay, so there's apparently something we missed here. Um... Looks like there's a bullet hole in the wall. I need to be careful. If the person living here isn't our friend laying in the dirt, he could be out there and armed. Okay. I didn't see that before. I guess I was looking too low on it. This guy was definitely prepping for something. Cans of food, water jugs. I don't really think it's relevant to the case, though. Maybe let's go out this way. Can't stray too far. Crime scene is on this side of the bridge. I don't wonder what happens if I go down here. Oh, it won't let me. Okay. Axe is sharp. Good for chopping wood, but I don't think it was used in the murder. Campfire back here. It doesn't seem like any of this is relevant. After I get to the cave. Pills. Not the cheap stuff either. Strong. Some people would pay good money for this. Okay, I looked at this earlier and it didn't option to interact with it or I didn't pay attention. So I guess I need to be a little more thorough. Um. Okay, if I push F, it doesn't give me that reminder anymore. So maybe that's the last of it. Is there something on the bruiser, maybe? Okay, so as we take photos, showing up on the hood and on the ground, apparently. I bet that's a glitch. Oh, there you go. This casing belongs to a 9mm bullet. I don't see a weapon around here, though. All right, I think that should about do it. I should reconvene with Evelyn before we head back to the precinct. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Ev. Hey, Matthew. Did you find everything you need? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, what do you think happened? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm gonna need to review a lot of it, but here's my theory. Our friend here on the ground came here to get his hands on some pills. Maybe during the deal, he had the bright idea that maybe he could leave with his pills and his money. So he took a gamble and stabbed his dealer. In turn, the dealer acted in self-defense and shot the guy, killing him. Scared, the dealer grabbed everything and ran, or at least got away as fast as he could with a stab wound. He tried to discard the evidence as he went, but he didn't really have time to hide it. He got to the cave before realizing he couldn't get any further, so that's where he stopped to bleed out 
and die. Oh, Jesus. Again, that's just my theory. There'll be a whole lot more of you, and it's just a whole process. Yeah. Hey, Matt, can I ask you a question? What's up, Ev? Oh. Why? Why do you think this happens? Also what do you mean? Deep now. Drug deal gone wrong? No. No, just... These people. Why do they resort to this? Just seems like some people don't see right and wrong. Maybe I'm just being naive, but I can't put myself in that headspace. Killing another person by choice? Hmm. I don't know if anything brings them to it. I think they may just be that way. Hardwired to do wrong. I don't know. I don't have much remorse for them. They've done bad. In my eyes, if you do something wrong, you deserve what's coming to you. You can't start sympathizing for them. That's when you start getting bad at your job. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's get back in the cruiser. Head back to the precinct. I need to sort through all of this. Yeah. Right behind you. Okay, so Evelyn, I guess is my partner. 